next episode of Decans with D. I am your host. I am Dietmar Ostermann, the regular guy from Long Island. Blind tasting. We have some real special thing for you in store. Olivia, my manager, tells me these are all 2014 Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley. My favorite wine. I'm blind tasting them and I'm trying to tell you which one I like best and what are my tasting notes. Okay? My glass right here. Cork Owl is right here. This is where I'm gonna pour the wine after I'm done. Okay, let's try wine number one. Beautiful color. Nice, dark, dark, dark. Beautiful color. Nice legs on the wine. You can tell it's a Napa Valley Cabernet. Beautiful looking. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Overall, very, very nice aromas. Okay, next step, let's give it a whirl. Lots of berry. Blackberry, probably a little bit of black currant. Elegant, nice tannins in the wine. So this wine can easily go another two, three, four years. Finishes medium, not very long. Let me try it one more time. My reputation's on the line here. Yeah, elegant tannins, medium finish. So much tannins that it crunkles your tongue a little bit. Um, so it will definitely last for another two, three years. Okay, let me pour this out. Wash out the glass with contestant number two. Swirl it around. So that the glass is clear from the previous wine. Okay, let's try number two. A good pour. Color is almost identical. Beautiful color. Dark, dark ruby red. Nice legs on the glass. Beautiful. Okay, sniffy sniff. Overall good, the aroma is not as strong as the aroma of the first wine we just tasted. Okay, beautiful legs, indicating high sugar content. Let's give it a whirl. Oh, on the palate with a bite. I like it a lot, very good on the palate. I like this one on the palate better than this one number one, but I like the aromas of number one better. But both are clear examples of very, very good Cabernet Sauvignon, and I would easily think these are Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignons. A little bit of a bite. Finishes again medium. Both of these are medium finish. That's a tough one. I like both of these, clearly. Number one, better aroma. Number two, a little bit better on the palate. Both are the same in the finish. Both are the same in terms of the looks. Very hard to tell the difference for me as somebody who drinks a lot of Napa Valley Cabernet. Both of them would be really, really good wines. And the fact that Olivia got them out of my cellar means I like them and that's why I purchased them in the first place. Okay, let's check out number three now. Pour some out. Oh, this color is more purple. All of these colors are very, very dark, but this one has a beautiful purple touch to it. 
more so than the others. I like this color a lot. Elegant lines, probably not overly sugar content, but good. Okay, let's give it a sniffy sniff. Yeah, I would say from the aromas, uh, I like uh, one best, two second, three very close, but third. Now let's give it a whirl. Beautiful fruit, long finish. That's an excellent one. The beautiful fruit is a combination of um, blackcurrant, blackberry, very juicy, takes over your mouth. It's, you know, it's in there. Again, elegant tannins, meaning I think wine number three is easily gonna go for another two, three years, four years. Uh, but it's really, really good to drink right now. Let me try it one more time. I know my reputation is on the line here. Overall, fabulous wine. So, number three is my favorite. Number one is my second. Number two is my third. That's my order. Let's see what we got. Them up now, number one. What was number one? They made it hard here, they didn't want me to see anything. Oh my god, it's Silverado 2014 Silverado, top notch, middle of the road wine, probably retail, I would estimate about $40. Great wine, I like that a lot. Let's see what number two is. They made that really hard here with the rubber bands and everything, so they couldn't peek. It has select! Oh my god! This is uh, one of my favorites, a little bit less expensive. This one retails for about $30, I would think, roughly. Has collection. Clear. This one more expensive than this one. And now let's see what number three is. Nickel and Nickel. The Query Vineyard. 2014, one of my all time favorite wines. So that one retails more for like $70 or so. Maybe even more than that. So clearly, that one was the one I liked the best, and it's no surprise, it's the best wine out there. This one I liked second best, and I guess it's the second most expensive, and this one I like third, but still very, very good. Third most expensive. With that, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this show, please like it and subscribe, and every Sunday we're going to release another video. Cheers.